everybody, it's Grandpa Cotton. What's going on? We're up here at Lake Okatibi in Mississippi. Uh, we've been up here doing some fishing, and this is uh, a cool thing that we're going to be staying in tonight. Uh, campgrounds up here is flooded, so uh, we figured it'd be a good time. We found this little Corps Engineer campground right here. It costs about 10 bucks a night to stay in if you got a tent or a camper. We're going to stay in this tent. Uh, this is a Napier truck tent. It's a backwoods camel. Uh, Miss Grace, all the way up from uh, somewhere up in Canada, sent this to us for a review. We also got two of them. We're going to be giving away one of them at our fishing tournament to the lucky family. These tents fit any size truck, no matter what size you know, truck you're going to put them on, they fit. Uh, they're uh, got two sides to them. They got French and good old American. So we're going to check it out here a little bit. I haven't put this thing up yet, so we're going to just wing it. It's a full-size tent. It uh, goes on the back of your truck. It hooks to your truck. It's got smooth straps and all on it where it don't scratch your truck up. It also uh, has a liner that goes inside your truck. Keeps you dry if it's raining. Keeps you up off the ground. It has uh, two mesh window, large windows on it. It has a large rear entrance on it. It also has rain flies and uh, zipper fly covers over it to keep the water all right. It's supposed to be watertight. It's supposed to be wind resistant up to pretty heavy winds it says. And uh, y'all look them up. Napier Tents. He's come out of Canada. They cast Canadian made, so we're going to see how tough it is. But anyhow, we're going to try to put this thing together. I got my boat hooked behind my truck. So, this thing's going on a new Dodge Ram truck, so we're going to put it up, but I'm going to put it up on the ground, then put it on the truck. Y'all stand by to stand by. You know what about this tent I got to thinking about? Last time we had a tent the Coons got in. We ain't been tent camping in probably 15, 18 years, I don't know. It's been a long time. We got campers here. At least I'll be up off the ground. We killed a couple of snakes. Uh, what was this thing? Copperhead. Copperhead. Uh, two of them. Lady next door was showing me the campsite, telling me how to get in here to the Corps Engineer campground. And she was standing right over the top of them. Never even seen it. Let's gonna open this thing here up and we'll see what it looks like. Got a cute little bag here, y'all. 3D camo. Tell y'all what, I'm tired. I've been fishing all day long. It's been rough up here in the wind, you know. No, I ain't hard to talk no fish. Let's see what we got. Got a little, little bag here. Some gold. Look at that. Look at that. They didn't even give you straps on that little boat. That thing, well, that's thick too. It ain't no little flimsy tent. I'm gonna tell you. Check it out. Alright, some of those stuff. That's gonna be the rain fly. And this is gonna be the net for the lights and all in it. And I see here it's gonna be all the six. So we're gonna try to let y'all hang with us here as long as possible. I'll probably have to feed it up here in a minute. Now that's a heavy duty little bag right there. That's a thick bag. Alright, we got our pole and I ain't seen no instructions. We got instructions on that thing. <laughs> oh, they sold in the bag. Look at there, y'all. All the instructions. How to do everything is right here in the back. That is cool. That is made out of some kind of material. That's pretty neat. Look at it. You don't see that no more. A lot of times you don't even get no instructions for nothing. All right. That's inside the bag. I'm pretty sure what I read about it Holes are color coded. And uh, we're going to get all these little boogies. It looks like just regular like tent poles, but the heavy duty poles, it looks like. Let's see. Probably two of them here. Yep, two of them. <laughs> I'm just going to knock them down. And it's for the heavy duty poles, though. They might have them little flimsy fiberglass poles. I'm sure, they like are, I'm sure they are fiberglass. That's what I said, they're heavy duty fiberglass. Let's see here. Yeah, Napier Tent was good enough to sponsor us with this stuff, so uh, this is not something I bought, it is something that they sent us. We want to thank Napier and Mr. Grace and Napier Tent for sending this stuff to us, and also, what, what 
what they done with the second tent is since my rim is a six six five bid, uh, they give us a certificate or ever who gets the tent at the fishing tournament, they will call her or email her or I can get in touch with whatever how you want to do it. And uh, they will fit the tent to your truck. So whatever truck you got, if you win the tent, you'll get the one that fits your truck. That's a neat little stick right there. How about you? Get them just close to you. Well, let's see if we can get this thing put together. Well, it looks like we got two black, a gray, and a green. All right, let's put this thing out here on the ground see what it looks like. Here we go. I'm gonna do it on the ground, but I'm old. I don't want to climb up my truck all over the top of this thing. They say one person can do this in five minutes. It's probably gonna take me a couple of hours. <laughs> Just saying. All right, let's see. We got a green stick in. There's a green one. Where's the little green one at that picture? Oh, I've done it. Alright, two green ones. You got a spot for them. Get out of that pocket. The color too. I may have to do some of these after we put it on the foot. I may have to take it apart. I don't know. Uh, let's see.
might well be a lot easier to do it on the truck, y'all. But I find it easier to do it where, the, where it ain't on the truck. That little thing there just basically is a neat little old snap hook. I got it fit perfect for everything. Just a lot on the truck. I got these little pieces of cloth here. Keep you from scratching your truck up. And once you get it all the way on around, you can come back and adjust your straps. But the straps just got a little hook. I need you to hook on these truck. I need you to pull it up like that and it fall off. <laughs> I really am tired, y'all. We've been going it all day. Right on this side. Right. 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 They also sell, uh, they also sell, uh, little cloth billy covers that goes under here. If you want a little bit more caulking on your truck. But, I mean, these are soft straps, so they're not going to scratch your truck anyway. Uh, I don't see where it can hurt anything. Yo. Check this up there. Got it, y'all. Let me shine up in there. Let me hold on. Let me see it pretty good. I mean, this is a neat little tent. It even comes with a I like the way the bottom of the floor is on it. I mean, you're up off the ground, too. It comes with a, a light hook right there to hang your lantern on. We also got this little gear bag that hooks up up here on it. Like that, you put your cell phone or whatever you want to put up there. I mean, really and truly, a little tense. Pretty cool, to be honest with you. I, mean, I like it already. We're going to spend a night in it. We're going to see how it works out. Anyhow, yeah. I think you can hang your lights up there. You've got a pocket right here. You can put your wallet in or whatever you need to put into it. You've got plenty of windows here for ventilation. So we're going to leave it at this campground, but it has. Absolutely. No electricity. No electricity. It's been real cold at night, so. There you go. Pretty neat. I like the little tent. It's an all-weather tent. It'll hold snow and all on it, they say. And uh, it's waterproof, so. Make your tents. Make your tents. Right out of Canada, y'all. I think it's pretty neat. Y'all come to my fishing tournament. You, uh. Definitely win one of these, hopefully. Somebody will. Somebody will. Y'all also going to win a lifetime fishing license. Somebody uh, will. Yep. And we're going to give away another lifetime fishing license at the other time. Right there, this thing they don't mention is, but see this little side here? Where it rolls over your truck right here, look. You can store stuff in that pocket down through there all the way down. If you need to store anything else in here. Your pistols or whatever, you know. But anyhow, let's get a shot of it outside. And we'll show the inside of it here in a little while. We'll get her. There, a mattress put on that. Make her a tent, y'all. Pretty nice looking tent. I like it. Y'all be the judge, yeah. I like it pretty good. Don't leave that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I might need to loop that one. You might want to leave that one open and just do the screen. Keep the widgets out.
This is actually a pretty neat little operation up in there. Uh, I had plenty of room. I'm six foot. And I stretched out in there. Actually, I didn't want to get up so much. I tired of it. Uh, it, it's not right. We got ventilation in the top. Got ventilation on both sides. Got a place up there to hang your lantern. Plenty of places to put your, your gear and stuff. Uh, so. Y'all looking for an uh, inexpensive camper for your truck? This is it. Uh, the height on it, by the way, is over five feet from the bottom to the top, which makes it great for me. You know, to be able to stand up in the water. I'm not ready to stand up, but I'm going to put some clothes on and all. That's short folks can stand up. Yep. But uh, <laughs> overall, I give it a 10. And. Uh, that's cool design, the 3D pattern they got on it, the camo pattern. They got all different colors of these things. They've got, you know, several different makes and models. Uh, they got some, got little porches that come out on them, so just check them out. Make your kit. Can't go wrong with it. Serves a purpose and serves a purpose well. Remember, that's about all I got on this sucker for today. But I'm finna go home. Y'all look them up, check them out. Grandpa's on.